Alright, um, sorry about that shadow there. So you want to start by drawing a line that is going to become the top of the eyelid. And this can be kind of tricky because you really have to figure it out as you draw it. And if you're watching this, you don't know what the finished thing is going to end up like, so you don't know what to sort of hope or sort of accommodate to when you're drawing the first step because you don't know what's going to happen next. It's kind of like cookbooks. You have to read the whole recipe before you do the first step because you need to know... I don't know, it just... It's easier if you watch the whole thing and then you'll go, oh, okay, that's why I needed to do it that way. So, mine looks kind of weirdly shaped. Just bear with me. Alright, we're going to add in the eyeball part itself. Now, for this eye, I'm going to be showing most of it. I don't know if you guys know, but I like to draw mine sort of oval shaped, at least my non human ones. So I'm keeping that in mind. I guess this whole thing is sort of the eyelid. Alright, so now that we have that, we're going to draw on the eyebrow. And basically, this follows the shape of the eye, except it kind of slopes up on the end. Because you want there to be a good amount of space between the eye and the eyebrow. And I'm going to start shading over in this corner. Sort of in a circular way. Almost like the eye is a sphere. Blending it into the center. And then just, you can just use your finger to sort of blend it so it's not completely white. And then you can darken up the eyebrow too. Started by shading over here. Um, you want it to be darkest up against the brow. So it's darkest up near the brow. Oh, I forgot. If you want to draw an eyelid line. You can sort of mark that in. And then it sort of fades into nothing over here except on the end it sort of comes down again because that is the widest point of the brow bone and um, the eyebrow curves up so you sort of leave it. If that makes any sense. And then just sort of bring this down. And then use your eraser to make that line really crisp. And then darken right against the line, the top line of the lid here. Just like that. Then again, you can use your finger, slightly blend, and then sort of give dimension to the eyelid by making a darker line on the top. And now we're going to add another eyelash. So to do that, we're going to bring it off sort of right here. You really have to think about your own drawing and what would look right on yours. And it's almost like a triangle. And it's going to create a sort of shadow onto the lid. I mean the eyeball. So now you have this sort of like almost arc made from that eyelash. I'm just gonna roughly place um, a shade on the lower lid there. And then I'm just gonna brighten up the white of the eye.
I'm creating this sort of triangle shape. Darkening this up more. And then just blending that. And erasing it because I don't like it. See, like I said, this is really just a whatever you think looks good kind of thing. Whatever floats your boat. Just keep shading. Keep going because you will find a shape that you like eventually. I find it cool if the eyebrow sort of connects right down like that. That looks neat so neato. Let me know if you want more sort of mystical creatures. If you want humans, whatever you want. Oh, not anymore. Drama. You can even bring this line up. Darkening it right there because it's like a shadow. Looks almost kind of like the crest, like toothpaste. Yeah, so this is my toothpaste eye. I am done, except I'm adding more eyebrow. That looks really cool now. I hope you enjoyed this. And I'll make more videos soon. Bye.